If you're running an online business, it's important to understand the ins and outs of sales tax. Sales tax laws can be complex and failure to comply with them can result in costly penalties and legal issues. That's why in this video, I'm going to break down the basis of sales tax for online businesses, including what is it, how it works, and how to determine if you have an obligation in certain states. And if you stay to the end, I will tell you how businesses get into sales tax trouble without even knowing that you should even pay sales tax. Now let's get after it. Understand the basis of sales tax and nexus. Sales tax is a consumption of tax imposed by governments on the sales of goods and services, usually calculated as a percentage of price. It's important for businesses to understand sales tax laws so you can remain compliant and avoid potential fines our penalties. Nexus. What does that even mean? Nexus actually means do you have some tangible thing or physical presence in a state that is going to require you to have to pay sales tax? And it refers to the connection between your business and a state that requires businesses to collect and remit or pay sales tax. Nexus can be established through various activities, such as if you have a physical presence in a state, you have a location there, you have employees working there, you have inventory in that state. And when I say a physical presence, you gotta be careful because many of you have addresses in other states. That gives you a physical presence in that state. Many of you have warehouse space in other states. That gives you a physical presence in that state. That's why you gotta understand what nexus really means. In recent years, sales tax nexus has expanded to physical presence due to the rise of the whole e-commerce thing. And many states are now enforcing that economic nexus. Why? Because they need money. They need tax dollars. That's why they are enforcing it. And this requires businesses to collect and remit sales tax if they meet certain sales thresholds even without a physical presence in the state. So you got to really be careful. You got to determine if you have certain nexus in states. To determine if you have nexus in a particular state, you need to research and understand specific laws for each state. This includes reviewing physical presence requirements, economic nexus thresholds, and any other criteria that might create an obligation based on that particular state. If you have nexus in a state, you'll need to register for a sales tax permit, collect tax from your customers in that state, and remit or pay that tax to the appropriate state agency. It's crucial to stay informed about changing nexus laws as your business grows and expands into new markets keeping detailed records of your sales activity your inventory and your employees locations can help you identify when you have established nexus in a new state and regularly reviewing these records can ensure you remain in compliance because they are always changing Learn about marketplace facilitator laws. This is a big deal and this is a new thing that you need to understand. Marketplace facilitator laws require online marketplaces such as Amazon, eBay, and Etsy to collect and remit sales tax on behalf of third-party sellers. These laws have helped simplify tax compliance for small businesses through their online platforms. And so you got to think about that. While marketplace facilitator laws can ease the sales tax burden for on-time retailers, it's still essential that you are aware of each state's 
specific requirements. Some states may have different rules or exemptions, so staying informed can help you avoid potential compliance issues. And if you sell through multiple channels, website, Etsy, Amazon is crucial to understand which sales are subject to marketplace facilitator rules and which are your responsibility to collect and remit sales tax. Proper tracking and recording of sales tax across channels can help you remain in compliance. And you want to implement sales tax compliance strategies for your online business. Utilizing sales tax software or services can help simplify and automate sales tax collection process, reporting, and remittance. Those tools can assist with determining correct tax rates. They can monitor your nexus thresholds and help you file your sales tax returns. And regularly reviewing and updating your sales tax compliance strategies will help you stay in compliance and help you keep up with these changing tax laws and regulations. And this may include revisiting your nexus status, understanding tax rates, modifying your record keeping practices, and educating yourself and your staff on sales tax compliance is really the best practice. And it is essential for reducing errors and penalties. Now, I told you, if you stayed until the end, I would tell you how businesses get into sales tax trouble. Many of these agencies that collect sales tax, it used to be formerly the um, State Board of Equalization in the state of California. Now it's called the Tax and Fee Administration Office. When you register to get a business license, when they see your advertisement, they are looking to see what it is that you're doing and how you are doing it. And then they contact you like that. You may not even be registered as a sales tax permit holder, but they're holding job is to go out and look for individuals like me and you that could be possibly avoiding sales tax. And I can imagine with technology, they're all over your Instagram. They're all over your website and they are probably purchasing your supplies to see how the transaction happens. Therefore, you will get a nasty gram in the mail saying that you need to pay sales tax. And if you don't comply, they will calculate and submit a sales tax return on your behalf. And the next thing you know, you will owe tax and you won't even know why. And sales tax is different from income tax, different from self-employment tax, different from payroll tax. It's another tax that business owners need to pay. But now you know better. And when you know better, you have to do better. That is why I want you to like, comment and subscribe so I can keep you updated on all things tax.